Hello, it's Emma and Steve from Showrooms Online. We're here today to take a look at an amazing St Modwin Homes development, Hilton Valley. Hilton Valley is situated in Hilton Village in Derbyshire. We're here to take a look at the four bedroom Garnet Show Home with a brick and contemporary board finish and exceptionally large windows. This spacious four bedroom home is a real treat. Let's go and take a look. Welcome to the Garnet. <laughs> Hello. Hilton, we're at Hilton oh. Valley by St Modwin Homes. Now we've viewed a Garnet before, haven't we? We have. Over at Trenton Manor. Mm. And I was really, really impressed with it. First time I'd actually seen yes. um, a St Modwin house and I wasn't disappointed. So it's nice to see another one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And see if it's been updated a little bit, I think. Yes, um, it's a full bed. Yeah, I mean, look at that behind you. That All that glass behind you. It's really within it's that door. Entrance. It makes that... I always think it looks such a, a, a well proportioned house. It is, outside. it is. It's really special to look at. Right, let's start with. Oh, oh I see what we've got. Right, so we're not a plan. We're the opposite way around, but we've got a family room then on this side. Yeah. This is nice again, just popping the windows, just. Yeah, it gives you many different purposes this room doesn't it yeah it's i mean it's three meters five by three meters one but you could use it as a playroom or even a bedroom an extra bedroom so a music room an office whatever you need it for and you've got two very big windows in yeah. here yeah i do love the light shades actually in this hallway aren't they nice right over into the living room. So this is your main living room. Um, dimensions are three meters two by six meters three in here. So it runs a full. It does, the although the kitchen is slightly protruding at the back, which yeah. you'll see. But yes, essentially on this side of the house, it's front to back. You've got French doors at that end but you've got two windows here on the yeah. side and a window at the front. I should imagine the windows on the side are plots plot, plot specific, specific yeah. yes. There is a hurricane blowing outside It's today. so quiet in here though <laughs> isn't it? It's really windy. So Hilton Valley, Hilton little village it's, it's growing now it's growing a little bit now but it's um we're actually it's just off the a50 um we're not too far away from derby or burton on trend so it's perfect the a38 crosses you've got the m1 on one side the m6 on the other at the end other either end of the a50 they've got a school here but actually st modwin are building 400 houses on this development are, yes. and they're building a school as well yes, so that's going to be a really really good community go through into the kitchen and dining but you can also get to it from the hall so you can actually do the full circuit with this house so this is your dining area beautiful table gosh that is lovely right let's have a look at some dimensions kitchen dining right five meters five by three meters four yeah Let's take a look at this lovely kitchen. Plenty of cupboards. I like the handles. We've got an integrated dishwasher. Really beautiful work surface in this show home. What have we got here? Oh, we've got some nice little baking bits. Right. Bank of drawers. Large, wide drawers actually here under the hob. Again, another of these big six yeah. burner um, gas hobs there, which is really impressive. Particularly if you like entertaining, yeah. you can have everything cooking all at once on there, which is really super. Right, over here, you've got fridge and freezer. You've got your Zanussi oven and grill. Really great. And very helpfully, they put a little sign there saying, did you know all of our four bedroom homes come with integrated appliances? That's really good to know. Which is really yeah. useful, isn't it? Yeah. So, mirroring the fridge and freezer yeah. on this side, you've got cupboards right the way down there as well. 
And I suppose you could do any configuration with yeah. that cupboard. If you wanted to put your ironing board or your vacuum in there, you know, your mop and bits and pieces, and then you've got your fridge freezer there. So the cupboards can be changed to suit yourself. Through there, you've got your utility. Very, very useful space. So I would say you've got, that's, that's a washing machine, but you have got room for a separate tumble dryer. Let's pop the light on in here. Your, your tumble dryer could go there, couldn't it? Up here, you've got your boiler. So that's tucked away in a cupboard. Beautiful work surface. They followed that through from the kitchen, which is very, very nice. And then you've got cupboards there for whatever you have to store away. Your door to the back garden or the side of the house is there. And then you're back into this beautiful kitchen. The dimensions for the uh, utility laundry room are 2 metres 1 by 5 metres 6. Okay, so we're back into the hall. Very light, isn't it? Yeah. Because of the extra glass there at the side of the front door. If you come this way, Steve, I've got two doors to open. Right, we've got a door here under the stairs. The RCVG boxes is in there. Cupboard. Yeah, and then downstairs WC. So it's an internal. So it's Vitra, Vitra, um, Sanctuary. I just want to stop and have a look at the door there. Look at that, a really nice. The dimensions for the cloakroom there are 1 metre 3 by 1 metre 5. Okay, we'll take a look upstairs. Then, first floor. Look at this impressive landing with that little desk at the end there. Lovely, isn't it? What a nice space. Right. Shall we start around that end then? Lovely big feature window. So we've got bedroom three then, so you're at the front of the house here, over the living room. So bedroom three, two me uh, three metres two by three metres two, so pretty much a square. Very big window there, lovely. nice space isn't it you could have a little sofa here or a chair and a, a table where you can have a cup of coffee yeah. or a desk like this uh, across the landing here then we've got bedroom one your master bedroom again another big window you're above the family room here let's have a look dimensions bedroom one three meters five by three meters five So bedroom one has got an ensuite and a dressing room. So the ensuite for bedroom one uh, is one metre nine by one metre five. Well, I would say they've got a double bed in this bedroom, but there is plenty of room for a bigger bed if you like to have a super king. Nice ensuite there, isn't it? You've got the dressing room. Let me pop the light on. There we go. Plenty of room for clothes hanging and whatever you might want to store above. That window's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Really like that. Certainly is. Some nice, really mature trees over there as well. Yeah. So here at the rear, we've got bedroom four. So you're above the kitchen. So again, another double bedroom. It's a good size bedroom four, isn't it? Normally yeah. you squeeze into a box, but well, this is really good. You've got a double bed in here. So this is two meters six by three meters one. And then next you've got your main bathroom. You can see the main bathroom's got a, a shower head there as well. Yeah, but you've also got a separate shower cubicle yeah. in here, a really good sized shower cubicle. Very nice. So it's a 
bathroom with its own window. Nice slim Ryan um, towel rail there, have a look. Very nice, yeah. So we have a cupboard here which has got your cylinder in it. Yeah, it has to go somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got bedroom two. So dimensions for bedroom two are three meters two by just over the three meters. Again, another lovely double bedroom. So this house has four really good yeah. sized bedrooms, doesn't it? There's a double bed in every room. So it's got built in cupboards, built in wardrobes in this room. There you go. Plenty of space to hang your things in there. And again, it overlooks the rear of the house, doesn't it? Well, okay, well, I think that's it. If I just shut the door, because obviously this is a working show home. Well, that's a really nice house, isn't it? it the garnet, as if every bit as good as the last one we saw. It so it's is. a really good house type. Yeah. We're looking. I will put all the dimensions and all the details in the description box down below, so don't forget to take a look down there. Yeah, and um, if you want to have a look at any other Simpson house types we've got yeah. on our channel, and take a look at our Smodwin uh, playlist. playlist. Also, if you want to see where the garnet's being built near you, then why not take a look on St. Modern Homes' is website. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll catch you on our next video. Bye-bye.